Hey there. So, you're one of us, aren't you? Mind if I ask you a few questions? Question one. When you travel, you usually... Well, if that's your idea of fun. <laughs> Kidding. So, next question. When you're traveling, do you follow the itinerary or are you more spontaneous? Good to know. And what about politics? What would you do if you disagreed with our country's government? Oh, one last question. When you watch a movie, you do so to... But you might also watch a movie to... <laughs> Thanks. Good to know. And I guess you're like the other runaway teens, trying to flee Petria. It's really dangerous to cross the border. And you have to be careful with the people you meet on the way. Believe me, don't go fainting on me. But each decision could shape your destiny and Petria's too. Okay, I guess it's time for you to hit the road. I hope you're ready. Here at our nation's border under National Mountain, the site of the Black Brigade terrorist attack in 86. If you don't remember, hundreds died that day when a brigade truck carrying explosive devices crashed into the mountain, triggering its peak to collapse. In two months, on the same day as the nation's election, in the same spot where I'm standing, the 10 year commemoration honoring the victims. Stand and Give us all your darn money, bitch! Yeah, all your darn money! Robbery in progress. All cars in the area respond immediately. Unit 2 here, on my way. Over. Resident Tyrak, the man who broke the border wall behind me, protecting our nation, will be there. Protecting our nation? Ha! Huh. This event promises to be a solemn moment, and a time to celebrate the announcement of our next president. Ugh, total BS. Of course, I'll be there live, giving you the real story as it unfolds. This has been GNN Sonia Sanchez reporting live. Tire. Just some car trouble, kid. What are you doing out here? A walk? With that backpack, kid? Uh-uh. Tell me the truth. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, come here. You know attempted border crossing is illegal. You're under arrest. Unit 2 to Central. Got a flat and a border crosser in my car. You copy? Fanny to Central. Do you copy? Great. Now the radio isn't working.
Be thankful you're not, okay? And keep that trap shut. Ah, oh, come on! Quiet, kid. Fine. What do I have to lose? Get out here, kid. But don't try and run away. You'll regret it. Believe me. Always fixing things. Always breaking things, too. Here. Just my luck. Come on, follow me. Yes? I'm everywhere these days, including Road 96. I'm working a case that requires it. You can, but I can't tell you. It's been a bad summer, really. Sorry. I just have a lot on my mind. With you? <laughs> That's all right. No offense. Take it easy, kid. Fine. I'll tell you. It's just that my son, my adopted son, ran away. I... I knew something that he didn't. A secret. And when I told him, he got upset. I told him who his biological parents were, or as much as I know about them anyway. Dangerous people, kid. Very dangerous. They were members of the Black Brigades. The terrorist group responsible for the attack at the wall. You know about the attack in 86, right? Well, that day, the brigades triggered an explosion that killed hundreds of people. That's the day I met my son. Yeah, I was working security, hired to protect Iraq at the wall's opening ceremony. Everything was going fine until it wasn't. I barely saw the truck before it crashed into the mountain. Just a flash. Next thing I knew, rocks were falling on the crowd. It was awful. You have no idea. The screams. 
everything was just so terrible. At some point, I, I looked down and there was my son, silent, covered in dust, looking up at me. Maybe I shouldn't have, but I, I picked him up and brought him home with me. I just had to make sure he was going to be safe. I had to. I looked in the papers for months after, searched the missing children reports every day. There was nothing. It's not unusual for brigades to cut ties with family. Truth is, I think they're dead, kid. Killed by those rocks. What other explanation is there? I, I guess I deserve all this. I kept the truth from my baby. Thanks, kid. I appreciate you saying that. I do. Central to Unit 2, do you copy? Over. I should get that. Look, kid. I don't know what you're up to out here. Just promise me something. Turn around and go home, okay? Your parents miss you. It. Just one runaway helping another. Gotta look out for one another on the streets, you feel me? Oh, hell no! Nah. Gotta say something, homegirl. Don't be one of those weirdo silent riders. But word is, there's a psycho cabbie dude out there. Maybe he'd get you across, but dead and stuffed in the trunk. Sorry, homie went a little dark there. Dang, I think that's ex-mom. Yeah, she adopted me when I was four, then treated me real well, but homie needed to make a change. Yeah, my life's real complicated. She told me my bio parents were brigade. She knew that, but she never said nothing for 10 years. I know, right? So, that's why she's ex-mom. And that's why I ran away, and I'm on the road. Alex. Alex? Help! Please! Yeah? Check the scanner at your feet. Alex? 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 Alex?
Baby, we got a call. The bank near our home's being robbed. I know things aren't great between us right now, but I need you to do your thing and access his cameras and tell me what you see. Fine. I'll help you with my super dope tech. But that's the last time, woman. Thank you, baby. Big Dog is not a baby. I'm gifted, but I can't do everything. You gotta get in the back. Yeah, I'm in the intel game, yo. Big Brother is watching us, so I'm watching Big Brother. Tweet the antennas to make the image clear, and tell me what you see. Ex-mom, give us a sec. I'm driving and homegirl is in the back. You're what? Yo, chill. Exma, male. Got it. You see any hostages? Zero hostages, Exma. Good. Anything else? are kind of dumb. <laughs> oh, not these guys again. Okay, I'll relay all of this. Thank you, baby. Yo, I'm a bit tongue-tied with Ex-Ma. Got any advice? Look, I'll call you soon, okay? Okay, baby. Sounds good. Alex. Yeah? You know I love you, right? Yeah. I know. Bye, ex-mom. Sorry you had to see that, homegirl. Yeah. I could. When I know more about my bio parents. Life. It's complicated. Especially when you're 14 and a genius. Anyway. Thanks for helping me. And ex ma back there. Look at us, two teenagers on the road of life. Cool, cool, cool. You're gonna vote, right? Well, you should. You know, that's another reason Tyrax sends you teens you know where. 
so that your vote can't be heard. When you left an open door, Spread the love, kid. What goes around comes around. So I took off with no plan. Thinking I could find a friend. Look, just give me the money and I won't call the cops. A guy got stabbed here two days ago and they never came. The cops aren't gonna show for this. I don't have time for this. Just a Mitch you stole from me and... I didn't do it. Everything's fine. It's not fine. She broke into my office and stole from me. Who are you? Her attorney? No, I don't have proof. She turned off my security camera. She's a criminal mastermind. You teens, I don't need the hassle. I'm out of here. You didn't have to do that, you know. I was handling it. Oh, I've met worse, believe me. Anyway, welcome to the Night Skies Campground. If you like crappy trailers, this place is the best. To look at the stars? I know, I know, it's cheesy. There's some cardboard around here, near Dancing Carl. No sweat. Hey, don't become roadkill out there, okay? This is 191.9, the voice of the brigades. This is your papa baby here. With the upcoming fraud of an election, more and more countries are calling for the resignation of tyrant. I mean, Tyrak. But will he step down? Of course not. Which is why, dear listeners, we must resist this man and his government as much as we can. And now, here's a tune from a fresh new band. Remember, Papa Baby loves you. You left the radio outside, Denny. Turn it off before you get us arrested. There's some cardboard right there. But I gotta warn you, I'm a snorer. Feel free to join if you can hang. No one can really dance with me. I'm on another level, but knock yourself out. See what I mean about not being able to dance with me? I can't hear you over the music! And no need to scream! Go talk to the owner! In his office! You look lost. If you want to run a trailer, go up the stairs to my right and talk to the owner. Otherwise, find the dancing guy. There's cardboard near him. 
One of them, huh? Sorry, kid. I got nothing. Leave me alone. What do you want? I got trailers here. Trailers you can sleep in. If you got the dough. I'm right here. I got trailers here. Trailers you can sleep in. If you got the dough. You look lost. <laughs> if you want to run a trailer, go up the stairs to my right. Got any money? Oh, well, um, hope you reached the border and all that. Sorry, kid. Spend it on the booze. What? I can't hear you over the music! I don't need to scream! Go talk to the owner! In his office! You look lost. 
<laughs> if you want to run a trailer, go up the stairs to my right and talk. You look lost. I've been kept inside so long. I've lost sight of red and wrong. with me. Marshmallows, do you? Sorry, I ask everyone that. Anyway, it's nice to have someone normal around here. I left home at the start of the summer. I wanted to get out of Petria, like you, I think. My dad thinks I'm on a big road trip. Truth is, I'm never going back home again. A lot of times, actually. It's scary there, with all the security. I traveled there with my father for his work. He works for the government, no big deal. Sometimes, yeah. But what scares me the most is going back to my old life. But enough about all that. Hey, why don't we play a little music? Let's play Bella Chow. I used to play this all the time. You know. Come on, don't be scared. Give it a shot. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Okay, now let's try it with the music. Sweat it. I was gonna leave anyway, but I'm just sorry for you. 
That's sweet, but I think I need to travel on my own. It's important to me, you know? Thanks for understanding. Well, we should probably start packing, huh? Good luck out there. Oh, uh, uh, this is for you, to remember this moment. Okay, we all know the plan, right? Yes. Totally. Let's do this. Uh, guys, is it me? Or is that kid over there listening to us? Nothing to see here, kid. Get lost, kid. Where is he, Sonia? It's almost time. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I insulted him one time too many. Look, find someone to film this, and now you know how important this is to him. Where am I gonna find a loser to... Hey, you there! It's your lucky day. Sonia has a job for you. Perfect! Then you're my new camera operator. Now get behind the camera. Time to make some effing magic. This is just a little puff piece on the pump, Cuddle Muffin. Nothing to it. We have a sec if you want to, like, talk to me. Like, get my take on something important. Just that Tyrak puts them there to catch teens on the run. isn't gonna do a thing because she ain't gonna win. Okay, let's go. We'll start with the intro. Oh, this is good with the billboard behind me. How do I look? <laughs> Wait, I know. Amazing. Yeah, just like that. Three, two, one. Sonia here, reporting live from the site of Petria's newest oil pub, where the Minister of Oil is moments away from a speech. The new pump, a gift from President Tyrak. Don't zoom like that, num- Now, where was I? The new pump, a gift from President Tyrak, will soon bring riches to our already rich nation. And cut. I'm gonna be honest with you. You're the worst camera person in the history of camera persons. I don't buy that. What do you want? Money? I don't have any cash, but here, take this. It's a lucky charm. It helped me. Maybe it'll help you too. Okay, sweetums. Now we film the minister. Get the crowd to cheer when he talks about President Tyrak. And boo when he talks about Senator Florence. Got it? <laughs> That's 
That's what I like to hear, Chunky Wonky. Okay, he's approaching the podium. Film him. <laughs> Citizens, we're here to celebrate the opening of this pub. Don't forget to take some close-ups. And what a beautiful and strong pump it is. Like our nation, like our president. Speaking of our president, let us cheer him to show our appreciation. I said, let us cheer for the great President Tyrak. <laughs> One, Dumplin. Flores! Flores believes we should abandon fossil fuels and take away your jobs. What do you, the hardworking people of Petria, think of Lupe Flores? Good, cutie pie. Real good. There's been a lot of talk of a brigade uprising, but am I worried? No. I've even let my teen daughter embark on a road trip. President Tyrak will keep our nation safe. Praise President Tyrak! Oh, nice. With that said, who you vote? Tyrak is a liar. Teens are being imprisoned every day. Tyrak is a fascist dictator. Vote for Flores and save our country. Stop them! Now! Run! I'm here, Sonya. Oh, shut up. Stop! Help me! Oh, no. We definitely don't do stories like that. Well, it's about time to drive off in my limo. Like all good journalists do when they finish a story. Look, to sum it up, you sucked with the intro. But I had faith. I was once a poor, dirty teen myself. And I was goddamn right. You didn't F up filming the minister. Here, buy yourself a new... everything. Well, I do believe it's time to go, sweet cakes. Adam! Let's roll! How could you? When I showed up, you were gone. Well, maybe you shouldn't have called. Leave. You won't need me.
kept inside so long. I've lost sight of. Welcome aboard, kid. When you left, and no. A couple of weeks now, but it feels longer than that. You? Hmm. Are you frightened? I know it's tough, but try not to think about it. What you should do now is rest, if you can. You'll feel better. While you were asleep. Yeah, fine by me.
Snacks and drinks? Can I help you at all? There, kid. Not unless I let you. Maybe I would. And why should I? Give me a good reason. How do I know? The enemy is getting smarter all the time. Fine. You can go. But I don't like your attitude. to know. Have a nice day. I don't know if there is a best way. Once a way is discovered, the government adapts. You know what I mean? It's like a nuclear arms race between teens and Tyrak. Same to you. You seem nice. I really hope you make it. This helps. Thank you. Good luck. I hope you make it. Hey there. Want some advice? Nah, don't try crossing over the mountain. I saw a guy fall from the peak one time. He screamed all the way down. And it's a long way down. Just uh, don't go up there. Yeah, you too. Hey, see that door back there? Some kids say it leads to an abandoned tunnel. It's rumored you can cross by using it. But maybe it's just a trap. Something Tyrak uses to lure teens to their death. Mm, if the shoe fits. Take it easy. You're not gonna open that door. Not without my help. I've been watching officials on this path for some time. Just so happens one dropped their access card the other day. Made this huge magnet, see? But that's not important. My point is, the car's yours. For a price. <laughs> Two reasons. Claustrophobia and calithrophobia. Fear of being trapped on the ground. Good luck down there. I heard it's just a dead end anyway.
felt you were a guard. Please, don't shine that at me. My wife and I came down here to cross. These are our boys. She went off to look for a way out when we got stuck. At one point, we heard gunshots. She never came back. I don't know what we're gonna do, and our food is almost out. I hope you do. Good luck to you. Freedom. Nothing is more important, but there are many others in Petra still looking for it. Their journeys have only just begun.